Hey what is up everyone welcome back to future coders today in this video we are going to be building this javascript project analog clock using html css and our javascript so as you can see we are going to build this we have the hour and minute hand second hand as you can see the clock is dynamic and it's showing the current time so guys this is what we will be building so before we actually start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to smash that like button i make tutorials on javascript html and css so go ahead and give a thumbs up for this video so let's start building this So here I have created three files. One is index.html, styles.css, and script.js file. And I have already generated the boilerplate of our HTML and linked our CSS file as well as JavaScript file. So let's start adding our HTML first. So let's create a container for our clock. Inside the container, let's create a div with an ID of clock. So this is going to contain our uh, clock so add, let's add an s2 it's going to say analog clock and uh, let's create a clock face a due with an id of sorry a class name of clock face so in the inside this class uh, clock face first we are going to have those numbers right so 12 3 6 9 so that's the number which we are going to display so let's actually have them for here i will create a uh do with a class name number and a class name top this is going to say 12 similarly let's say change the second one to three third one to six and the last one to nine and this is going to be at the right this is going to be at the bottom and it will be in the left so that's it for the clock face now we need our and minute hand and second hand right so let's create those so due with a class name of a hand and one more uh, class name will be our and similarly let's create two more the second one is going to minute hand the third one is going to be second hand all right that's it for html now let's go ahead and actually let's jump into css and style this as usual i'll clear out the default margin and padding being applied by the browser by setting margin zero padding zero box sizing to border box all right and let's also use a font family of lucid science that's it Let's actually, yeah, as you can see, we are actually trying to see, seeing the changes over here. So for the body, let's add a background color of ash, this X code. It's going to be light gray. And once the body is done, let's target the container. Remember the container is this one, the whole container. So for the container, I will just add a padding of 3RM all around all right now let's actually select the clock and uh, let's select the s2 here so inside the container we have the clock and inside that we have an s2 so for that i will add a text align so that so our uh, text actually aligns to the center as you can see now and uh, one more thing is going to be a margin bottom of let's say 2 rm right that's it now let's actually target the clock itself still we are not targeting the clock face still we are setting the clock width let's set it to 20 rm height to 20 rm all right then what else let's set the position relative margin pi rm and uh, let's set this at all all right as you can see uh, margin is 5 rm to the top and bottom and at all to the left and right that's why uh, everything is centered perfectly now let's target the clock face which is inside 
clock face yeah inside the clock we have the clock face so let's try to target that and style it so it's going to be clock face remember we are going to we are targeting now uh, this one the clock face is going to be the round one round clock and the lock clock so here i will add width to 100 percent height to 100 percent let's set the border radius to 50 percent so that so that it becomes perfectly round so we are not seeing the changes that because we need to add a background color so here let's add this color yeah perfect as you can see there we have a round shaped clock and the lock clock let's set the position to relative so that we'll be setting using position absolute in the near future so let's set the box shadow yeah of course it's going to have a box shadow of rgba let's set the red to zero zero and this also zero and this is going to be opacity is going to be 0 0.35 so let's add zero pixels 5 pixels and 15 pixels yeah there we have our box shadow yeah that's looking great and we are going to have some border border 3 pixels we'll have a dotted black yeah there we have our uh, border also now let's target the number uh, they are inside so clock face inside we have this class number so let's get that let's copy this and we have the number class so for the number class i will use position absolute as i said and font size let's set it to 1.5 rem okay font weight is going to be bold all right as you can see they are wrapping on each other right so so for that we have given some extra mappings right so number that is going to have a top let's copy this so number uh, number uh, due uh, that is having both number and a top class for that we will add this so from the top it's going to be one rem and we need to move to the left side right so from the left it's going to be 47 percent so that's how we can get it at its place similarly let's do the same for all the things here instead of top let's do right so the for the right let's set top from 47 percent and from the right one rm yeah there we have our uh, current correct placement yeah let's do this one more time instead of this it's going to be have bottom so the, for the bottom from the bottom it's going to be one rm and left 47 percent from the left it's going to be 47 percent all right then we have the correct placement as well now the final thing that is left now is uh the left one right so for the left one from the top it's going to be 47 percent and from the left one rm all right there we have our numbers correctly placed now let's work on the hour hand minute hand and second hand so inside clock face we have this hover hand right so let's use that so that's going to be so let's copy this class so our end so for the our end let me scroll this up so let's set width to 30 percent and height to 0.4 rm still it is not visible right so let me add a background color yeah now it's visible width is 30 percent and height is 0.4 rem all right yeah position absolute since we need to actually position it right so top from the top it's going to be 50 percent 
and from the left it's going to be 20 percent so that we get it correctly aligned as you can see there we have the correct placement all right so we also need to do transform origin 100 percent so and we also need to transform rotate we are going to rotate it 90 degrees all right this is going to be just initial one okay later we will add javascript to show the current so so that it actually changes with respect to current time all right so we are done with our end now let's copy this let's start working on minute hand so let's copy this so for the minute hand i am going to do similar things similar properties i will add similar properties so for the example width is minute hand of course minute hand is going to be uh, it will it will have more width than our hour end right so let's make it 40 percent and height also let's reduce it it's going to be thinner right so 0.3 rm still it is not visible let's make it background color yeah there we have our minute hand similarly position is going to be absolute from the top it's going to be similarly that's why uh, that's what sit down from the top 50 percent and left 10 percent yeah there we have the correct alignment from transform origin 100 percent and transform rotate yeah we'll do 90 degrees all right now the only thing that is left now is second hand right so let's start working on that so clock face inside the clock face we have the second hand right so here let's add it so for the second hand similar properties uh let me just copy paste this so second hand of course it's going to be lengthier than the minute hand so with the 50 percent it's going to be thinner so 0.2 rem background color let's make it green yeah there we have that position absolute from the top it's going to be 50 percent transform origin yeah that's it all right there we have all our second hand minute hand our hand in place now only thing that is left now is adding javascript so let's start working on the fun part that is javascript so first what do we need we need our end minute hand second end right so let's grab those in from our dom so let's create a variable let our end document dot get element by id we have given an id right okay we have given a class we can't use get element by id so let's use query selector all right query selector so let's grab the hour end all right similarly min hand and second let's actually write it full second hand so min hand second hand all right there we have all our dom elements that are required so i will write a function set time so set time okay all right set time is perfect for our uh, function so here i will get now using our javascript date object i can get that uh, i can actually get a i will show you it's better to show you than talk so let's call this function set time all right let's open up our console our friend is console ah, we are getting an error log is not defined okay it should be console log what am i doing so console.log as you can see it gets uh, the current uh, date as well as the time we have the time as well and we have this time format uh, yeah this is indian standard time all right we have that now using this now we can actually get hours minutes second whatever we want so so here i will just remove this console log so now you know right what is inside now so so let's get hours from that so let hours equal to 
using now you can get uh, you can use a function get hours yeah that's it get hours so yeah hours we have and now we need to calculate the degrees like uh, on how much it needs based on hours it's going to, how much it's going to rotate so let's create our degrees so it's going to be hours divided by 12 and into 360 we have uh, 360 degrees right so let's multiply it 360 degrees so by doing this we will get uh, 360 uh, uh, a direction on how much it wants uh, how much it needs to rotate so i will also need to do 90 plus 90 so once we do this we will get an a uh, degree so that we can assign it to the our end so our end dot style dot not this thing all right our end dot style and transform transform we are going to add a rotate this is going to be a string rotor little there because we need to append our degrees inside this so rotate inside this let's use our javascript we are going to add our degrees and we need to write degree here similarly uh, this is same notation as as what we are doing here yeah transform rotate and how much degree if we want and we are writing the degree that's it all right now similarly we need to do it for minutes so this variable is going to be minutes and this is going to be guess what get minutes this is going to be minute degrees and instead of hours we'll just minutes but there are 60 minutes in an hour so let's divide it by 60 that's it and instead of hour and use min hand and transform let's append this min degrees all right similarly the last thing which is left now is seconds right let's close this all right here i will add seconds let's say sec degrees this is going to be seconds and 60 is going to be it will remain the same so here i need to append second degrees that's it so there we have the uh, we are currently rotating it uh, based on the time and let's call this thing yeah it's already being called right so we don't need the console yeah currently it's showing uh, current time currently it's 11 40 okay it's currently 11 40 it's showing the current time actually uh, it's not moving because we need to call this function every second so we want the time to be updated every second right so we need to call it every second so using set interval let's do set interval and which function uh, we need to call we need to call set date sorry set time and uh, how like for every thousand milliseconds right that's going to be equal to one second yeah this should actually start working now let's see why is it not working all right here it should be get seconds so that it's actually starts moving okay instead of our second and our our sorry minute hand is showing the seconds so actually we need to do this second hand yeah there we go as you can see our second hand is moving every second and it's currently showing the current time all right guys there we have our analog clock built from scratch using html css and javascript hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something from this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to smash that like button go right now and smash that like button and 
yeah this was actually a cool and beginner friendly project i hope you got to understand everything hold on a minute i actually forgot to show you where you can get the source code you can actually head over to futurecoderswebcom which is our website and you can get all the source code from here whatever the project which uh, we actually built in just now as you can see there we have our analog clock project let's go inside that and as you can see everything is written uh, you can follow this article and actually build this project and there we you also have uh, access to all the html as you can see html code css code and also you will also get javascript code and you can also download the source code by entire source code by clicking on this button all right so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one bye